Coming up next, it is a heavyweight title fight between Bruce Lee and AJ Anthony Joshua. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. think it's the most significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. And now let's get you our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. So these fighters are just a year apart with big differences in height and reach. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the Octagon where we find Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five round for the undisputed USC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 237 pounds. Fighting out of London, England, presenting the challenger, Anthony Joshua. And now it is the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting at Los Angeles, California, USA. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? You ready? Well, the tension is palpable as this fight gets underway, and it's going to be interesting to see how this matchup plays out. Definitely a striker on one side against another guy who can really do it all. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. Well, he told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Nice strike. Edge of your... Oh! Huge right hand! Back to the feet. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, big left. Jazz. 
Tried to land the punch, but a swing and a miss by Lee. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. Joshua gets absolutely pelted by that head kick. One to the top. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And they separate. Oh, caught him with a head kick. That at least partially landed. Oh, my goodness. He got kicked in the head and he's still standing. Look at the turtle in that kick. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is a technique you use to really slow down your opponent. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Three minutes to go here, round one. Body attack, and it's blocked. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Unable to connect with a right hook. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. to the body by Lee. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. All right, single collar tie now. to the body now, that one won't land. Dude's hurt, serve him up, go get him. Oh, straight right. Oh, a huge inside leg kick for him. Nice punch by Lee. Going to the body now with the kick, that one is blocked. Oh. Well, he gets up again here, but he wants to go. And just like that, the fight is over. He's done, he's done. <laughs> yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you got to show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee, Eve Levine, is going to stop for this contest at 3 minutes, 34 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout. So how about this? We have a new UFC heavyweight champion of the world. I think that guy beats Daniel Cormier. I, think I mean, he this guy beats anybody. I'm telling you right now, he is the king of the world for a reason. The number one heavyweight in the world, a guy that possesses knockout power, confidence, and heart. It's going to be very difficult to take this belt.